This is just an explanation of how to custom make your own little basic poncho. And so if you just want to knit or crochet just a rectangle or just cut some fabric and just sew a couple of rectangles together and have a quick poncho, this is, this is the way you do it. And I found some measurements online. Someone said cut it 32 and a half inches long by 20 inches wide and that's just a standard but I didn't I tried that on with a, some uh, paper that I taped together and I didn't like the way it looked or I didn't like the length of it and all that so I decided to do my own calculations on um, my own desired length and uh, width so the two figures that you have control over is your neck opening and the the final poncho length so once you come up with that, whatever width you end up with uh, here is going to determine the, the sleeve length. So for this basic one, that's the only control that you have. So once you determine how wide you want your neck opening to be, uh, this has to fit over your head. So I chose 10 inches, so that's going to give me 20 inches overall. And since I'm going to be knitting on a knitting machine, it's going to stretch some, so it's going to allow it to get um, over my head. Uh, you may want it a lot wider. You may want it laying on your shoulders differently. So I would just do a little mock-up with some old fabric or uh, with some paper that's taped together, and you can figure out how wide you need that to be. So the way this thing comes together is you end up knitting or crocheting or cutting fabric in a rectangle shape, uh, a long rectangle shape, and you have two of them. So they're sewn together with the short end of one of the rectangles sewn onto the bottom of the other rectangle, and this other short side gets folded around and sewn into the other rectangle, and you end up with a meeting right here. So you can have the seam line that drapes over your shoulder and it's going to be on the back and the front so you need two panels all right so i took my neck opening that i desired and divided it by 1.4142 and i'm calling that the shoulder overlap and that's this part that you see peeking out from the back then I took the length that I wanted my poncho to be, and you divide that by 1.4142, and you end up what I'm calling the width of the panel, and that's also going to be your sleeve length automatically. So I write in those two figures down. I put the width of the panel in there, and I write down my shoulder overlap calculation, which is <clears throat> excuse me, determined by the neck opening. So once I know the shoulder overlap, I multiply that by two and I'm calling that the extension because that's the part that comes around to the other side. So I take the width of my panel plus my extension calculation that I came up with and I'm coming up with the total length of my panel. So I need two of them again. You need one for the front and for the back. So I'd write those two figures in here just so I'd have them handy and then if you uh, do a knitting and crochet gauge swatch, you're going to put whatever stitches per inch you come up with for your yarn or whatever you're using and your rows per inch in these two blanks. And then you take the width of your panel that you have here and the length of your panel and you uh, multiply those by your stitches per inch and your rows per inch and it's going to give you um, the number of uh, cast on stitches that you need and the rows that you need to knit or crochet. So it's pretty, it's very basic, very simple. It does not include any kind of uh, trim um, that you may want to add some fringe or something like that. It also does not include anything you would want to add around the neck edge. So you may want to do some ribbing or um, crochet or something like that around that neck edge when you're finished. So you may want to allow for that also. Um, but anyway, very, very simple pattern. And I also did an Excel document. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, share these um, documents, but uh, I made my own calculator and I've got some calculations uh, in these fields. And 
all I have to do is change it for a child uh, to, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, may want to make it 18 inches long for a child. And so it's doing all these yellow parts for me. It's telling me how many stitches to cast on, how many rows to knit. I, I can type in the gauge of my uh, swatch that I knitted or crocheted. And um, it does it all for me. So I made this for myself, you know, so that I can do this over and over again for different sizes or different yarns. So... Anyway, I hope these, um, this explanation of the basic poncho will help you to figure out how to make your own custom size.